opened it, but I put everything back to how it was just to show you guys what comes with the phone um, in the box and stuff. Um, I bought this with um, phones. Uh, it's on Oto from Phones for You uh, in the UK. Um, it's on a £42 a month contract. Uh, you get 900 minutes, unlimited text, and unlimited internet. I think it's like there is a fair usage policy with the internet, but it is basically unlimited. Um, yep, I got the white one, not the black one, because the white one does actually have. Um, I can't remember what the millimetre difference is, but it's like a couple of millimetres difference um, thickness, and I wanted it a little bit thicker. Uh, so we'll just open up. So the first thing you'll see is the iPhone itself. Um, I actually got a package with the iPhone which gave me a, a, a guard, a front and back guard, but it's not very good. This is what it was. Um, I've, I'm just keeping it on there for now. It's got loads of air bubbles and it's pretty shit. But I'm just keeping it on there until I get a, a, a decent one. Um, to protect it but yeah so yeah the first thing you see is the iPhone looking very nice uh, I think that all m all the white iPhones are 16 gig I think there might be bigger ones but um, that's what that looks like uh, one thing I didn't realize when I was buying the iPhone was that there's a new sim um, it's not a normal size sim the normal size sim is like that but the new sims are called micro sims and they're smaller so yeah but you I got that with the phone and it still kept my same number so yep yeah, um, that's the iPhone itself and then under here you get this little booklet thing and if you open it up you get um, the little pin that you need to press on top of the iPhone to get the uh, SIM card out. Oh no wait, is it on the top? That's the side of the phone, the side of the phone to get the, the uh, SIM card out, which you will need. I'll just put that back on. And then you open it up again and you've just got um, like a little fingertips manual like just telling you like where where the stuff is um voice control facetime all of that stuff and then you've got a little booklet here just telling you about charging the phone just gives you a little bit more information about it all and stuff and then you get inside you get the usb uh plug um, thingy to charge your phone obviously a USB cable uh, just a normal iPod one and a new set of headphones um, these headphones come with uh, attached to it there is a plus and minus volume controller with a tiny little microphone on the back um, and then that's it, that's all you get with the box itself, um, so yeah, all I need to do now is get a, a cover for it, a um, couple of problems that I had when I first bought the phone that some of you may or may not have, um, I got the phone, I had to wait till I got home to uh, turn it on because you have to connect it to iTunes, so you you can turn it on straight away but you won't be able to use it because it will just say please plug into iTunes put it into iTunes, let it synchronise once it's synchronised your phone should work in my case it said that um, the network or um, basically my my network my network wasn't available and I could search for other networks such as O2, um, Orange, T-Mobile, stuff like that I'd select one of those but then obviously that doesn't make sense if I've got an O2 sim but I was just fiddling about and that didn't work so in the end um, I went on to um, o2.co.uk and um, an online chat thing come up 
like if you've been on the site for a while and you're trying to look for something a little pop up will come up and say do you want to speak to an advisor online now and chat for free blah 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 so I said yes and then um, I told the guy my problem and basically what it was was the new micro sim hadn't been um, like authorised or it hadn't been like activated properly so I had to take out the micro sim there's a number on the back of the, uh, the micro sim it's like 16 digit or 19 digit long yeah is it nine? yeah 19 digits long and I gave that to him and then he just went bish bash bosh and then it was done in like three minutes and I had network coverage and then the other thing was um, after that I wasn't getting my internet set in, I wasn't getting any internet or 3G anywhere um, so I had to I asked him um, to sort that out as well and, he, and basically it's just an email they'll send to um, your email address and it will give you a guide on what settings you have to type in I didn't have any, a username or password set for my data, my data um, network thingamajig um, which you'll understand if you've got an iPhone 4 um, and you just have to put in the username and password and the right email address uh, the, right, the right website so and then it worked and everything's fine apart from that um, it's a very nice phone like I say I'm just keeping the crappy look as you can see like the crappy sticker stuff on it at the moment that I put on there just to protect it until I do get a um, cover for it because I don't want this getting scratched to buy the handset in the UK um, just the handset and you don't want anything else like you don't want the contract or anything with it it's apparently um, £750, which is a lot. <laughs> um, oh, another thing I forgot to mention right at the start was that this is a 24-month contract. And the guys at um, Phones View said that um, if the iPhone 5 comes out next year, which it may or may not, or it might be a couple of years from now, which in in that case it wouldn't matter anyway because I can upgrade but if the iPhone 5, uh, iPhone 5 did come out um, within a year then I can actually upgrade my package and pay a small fee